hello. Let me get on your level. Put my glasses on. What's going on, everybody? Everybody, what's going on? What's going on? Listen, so um, I'm about to get this thing on and crack a lack and popping. So just so you know about the camera bees, if it looks funny on, on television, um, I ordered me a tripod for my camera and some way for it to come in, but I did have one and I rigged it up so that it can work for my camera for today. So um, I want to thank all my 60 subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. Give yourself a hand clap. I got to do like this, get low. Um, thank you guys so very much uh, for all your love and your support for ha uh, res hashtag Wretched Kitchen and me. Um, I am really hoping for 100 subscribers within the next week, okay, within the next week. I need everybody to do me a major, major, major favor. Go tell somebody about Ratchet Kitchen and me. Um, this is something I thoroughly enjoy. It's therapeutic for me. I really love cooking. Um, I love to interact with other human beings that want to get healthy and lose this weight and feel great about themselves. Um, I believe majorly in inspiration. And so I'm so excited about the journey. So I definitely want to share it with the entire world. And this one day, and I'm going to look back at this video. Video, but on one day, I'm going to be able to go global and hit the whole world and impact the whole world. And so I'm excited about that. And I'm going to eventually get to a million subscribers. Even though I'm at 60 now, I can see a million that's coming and I'll be able to be in everybody's house every single day. That's pretty cool. So anyway, let's get this thing started. Um, I appreciate you guys, but definitely tell a friend, tell a family, tell a co-worker, tell a stranger to go to YouTube and go on under Emery and Remy, and then subscribe, like, and comment on my channel. I appreciate you guys. Let's get this thing crack a -lacking. So, I know you guys really can't see my face, so I'm going to probably do like this right here because this stupid tripod, but I'm so grateful for it. Let's take these glasses off and let's get this thing started. Right here we have a can of Simon. So today I'm going to do a Simon Croquette the Keto Way, okay? So again, this is a can of Simon. It re retails about maybe 2 to $3 at Walmart or Kroger's. We have, oh, don't drop that. That's $10. We have our almond flour that's here. I don't want to drop that. And normally you, 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 you will use breadcrumbs to go with it. But since we can't use breadcrumbs on keto, this is French onion, French fried onion. And it is only three grams of carbs, okay? And we're going to crush that up. You know, Russian Kitchen, we use what we got. You have your Italian seasoning. That's there. You have your Mrs. Dash. It's there, and this is a mixture that I mixed up. And if you look up the previous videos, you guys will see what I did. This is the onion powder. This is the pepper corn grinder here. So that's for our pepper. The minced garlic, that's there. Now, um, I'm going to probably add a little vinegar to this because the garlic is in here. So there's nothing wrong with us doing that, okay? We're going to add a little vinegar. And then here is our olive oil, okay? You have to have eggs. So I have two large eggs. And then I cut up me a lemon as well, okay? So I can squeeze it, all right? So let's get this thing started, people. You're probably going to see this frame of me um, because I want you guys to see the logistics of the actual food itself. Now, I took the salmon out of the can, and this is how it came out, kind of like a tuna fish. You'll also see some small bones in here, but don't worry about those. Um, you can eat them. It's okay. They, I mean, you won't even know, you know, notice them at all. So, go ahead and just take you a spoon and just kind of do like this, you know, like turn it, like mash it. Or if you have a masher, you can do that. Um, not my preference. I kind of like a spoon, and we'll do that, Okay. Now, you're going to need a second bowl or dish. I'm going to get something actually larger than that. Um, let's do something larger. Yeah. I keep a lot of Tupperware bowls. So, we'll get something a little larger and go ahead and put um, <clears throat> our salmon in here. Since I mashed it down, you can do all of it. That's fine. And then we'll go ahead and put our seasonings in here, okay? 
perfect. And we're going to get a little Miss Dash. And it's a tank. So it's whatever your preference is. Um, I can't tell you no teaspoons and all that because I ain't got that far. You know, I don't really do no measurements. You'll learn about Ratchet Kitchen. We don't do it. We just do it to our taste and when I think it's enough. Get some grinder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you know I always end my stuff on seven or eight. Okay. Now, well, let's put a little vinegar in this. Okay. Um, you need to keep, you know, some minced garlic with you at all times. I definitely suggest it. Only because it's, um... It's good when it comes to killing any kind of sodium and stuff like that. I also keep me some Brad's apple cider vinegar. And you guys also see a drink that I'm going to make using Brad's apple cider vinegar, okay? And I only put just a little bit in there, not a whole lot. Let's put the top on there to keep it fresh. And let me tell you what you're going to do. So once you do that, you're going to shake that shit in. Shake, 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 shake. I got drip for sale. Y'all like this song? I got drip for sale. I got drip for sale. I got drip for sale. Anyway, so that's perfect. Um, and I'll open that top back up. Perfect. And we have our olive oil. So let's go ahead and put some minced garlic um, in our salmon. That is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Now, everything is good. We're going to mix it all up. Now, it is your choice if you want to, you know, put any sauce on it. But I like to do my sauce after the fact, and we're going to make some sauce to go with it. I had not decided if we're going to do, like, a, a wrap or, you know, put this on a salad. But it's whatever your preference is, okay? Remember that lemon I told you guys about? Go ahead and squeeze that lemon on here. Then this video is going to be a raw video, okay? So this is probably without a lot of filters. This is going to be without a lot of editing. I want you guys to see what the real is here. Um, so we're going to cut another little piece of lemon up. And I'm going to squeeze that lemon in there. Me personally, um, I always keep a lot of lemon in my house. And um, I do it for, you know, the blood pressure to cut down on the blood pressure. And to, you know, eliminate a lot of cholesterol issues. So I'm taking some seeds out that fell in from the lemon, which is fine. It smells great, okay? And now we have another bowl, right? So with the other bowl, let's get even a smaller one because you're going to put your eggs in that particular bowl, okay? So we're going to get a smaller one. Um, and I had this organized, and you know when you have kids, they do what they want to do, right? Okay, so we go ahead, crack our eggs open. Boom. Looks good. Are we focused? Are we focused, guys? Perfect. Add some more eggs. All right. <clears throat> Once I get to 100 subscribers, I will start um, doing some live videos. Um, I saw a couple of few live videos on YouTube. It was pretty cool. So, um, once I get to the 100 subscribers, I will do that. And I also will be doing a giveaway. And, you know, once I get, I have different goals. So, when I get to the 100 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway. When I get to 500, I want to do a meet and greet. Lunch will be on us. Um, so, I'm looking forward to that. So, here is the eggs. We got that going. And we need to go ahead and put our almond flour. Let's move this out the way. Our almond flour and our um, chop up. I guess I could use a paper plate for this. We'll do some, um... The French onion as well, okay? So go ahead and do your almond flour. And I guess, you know what? Let's put, instead of putting on a paper plate, let's go ahead and do the bowl. This is raw. This is, I guess you know how you look at live TV? This is live. <laughs> this is live. So we got some almond flour in there. Maybe about, I'm going to say a small little cup of it. And I'm simply going to do that with the French onion because it's already um, super tender. Um, I want to show you guys what it looks like so that you can see the inside of it. Yeah, like little crumbs. So we'll go ahead and put this in the flour as well, okay? Now just for seasoning sake, I will go ahead and put me some um, Italian seasoning in here. That's fine. And then you can do a little Miss Dash. It's not going to hurt anything. 
perfect. Okay, and I will be back in a few seconds. Okay, guys, so I went on to pause the video real quick because my son came in. And now we're about to go ahead and get everything started. So you definitely know that you need a skillet, right? So we're going to get us a good old skillet um, so that we can go ahead and, and fry. It is very simple, and it actually tastes really good. I don't know if you guys ever had a Simon croquette, but um, usually people use it for breakfast or whatever. But I use it for whatever, you know, I want to use it for, so... You know what I mean? I eat breakfast in the afternoon. Uh, but yeah. So that's what I am doing. Wipe this out. Boom. Looking good. Go ahead and put the fire on. And we got it going on, people. Y'all know how I like it. I always put my fire on first. Now, I believe in cleaning up as you mess up. You know what I mean? So... I normally give me a little Walmart bag. Put the fire down a little bit. Normally give me a little Walmart bag. Put it around my little knob until I get done. Put my stuff in here and make me some dishwater. Okay? So, guys, um, I am so excited. You know, God put it on my heart to do something when it came to my cooking because I've had so many people to ask me about my cooking. Um, all I did was put a little drizzle of um of olive oil on here and we're going to check that up i've had so many people to ask me about my cooking which is an absolute blessing you know and um i'm very 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 grateful and i'm very humble um that people are wanting to know how i'm doing it and so i love to share my experiences and stuff like that i'm making some dishwater so if y'all hear it kind of sounding loud I'm doing something different today. I'm they you guys be a part of the whole journey. So I, I put it into a little ball like this. Now mind you, we put olive oil in the skillet already. And we don't want it to brown. So put it like on three. We put the almond flour and the onion, um, the French onion in here with some seasoning. Here is your um your egg. And so we're gonna simply after you make it in a ball like this, you're gonna put it in the egg. Flip it over like that. And then just put it in your almond flour. That's it. That's all you're doing, okay? And you don't you can make your ball to however if you want to be, you want to smile, it's up to you. Making sure that you're checking on your grease. Um, and I see mine is kind of warming up a little too much. So I'm gonna take it off the thing until I make my balls first. When you have a gas stove, the reason why I always change stuff back and forth when I be talking to y'all is because I have a gas stove. And when you have a gas stove, you have to be careful because they heat up quicker than um electric one. So you have to be careful of that, okay? Got my dishwater running. I'm going to make a couple more of these balls and stuff like that. If you guys are liking these different recipes and stuff, please like, you know, leave a comment. And if you don't like it, I understand. That's fine. You know, um, you can tell me what your opinions are and stuff like that. Um, if you guys have channels that you want me to follow, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do so. You know what I mean? Because I'm big on supporting other people because I want you guys to support me. My family loves when I cook, guys. People, friends love when I cook. You guys love when I cook. Facebook is responding very well. Um, and it makes me feel good. You know what I mean? That's what we should do as people is uplift one another. You know what I mean? And um, whatever their gifts and their talents are and stuff like that, let's not knock people down. Let's go ahead and, you know, lift people up. So I'm on my fourth bowl. My fourth bowl. I'm sorry, something. Fourth bowl fourth ball right now um and it's looking good and then we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the frying we still have enough for like maybe two or three more go ahead and get that crackle lacking a lot of people don't show you the raw like this on um youtube but i'm i want my people to be engaged with me so that you guys know what i do on a daily basis um i have been extremely busy with my kids 
Um, my kids play sports and stuff like that, and it's the playoff times, and so I've been really, really super busy when it came to the kiddos, but I'm so glad to be back. Um, go ahead and put that grease back on there, and it kind of cook. I can going to make me, like, hopefully one more ball before it gets too hot. Um, but, yeah, i just been on the go, and I was like, so how can I do this? Because... Editing does take a lot of time or whatever, but I mean, it will definitely get better in the future and I'm trying to make it better because I want you guys to be able to engage in it more, you know what I mean? So, thank you guys for not really beating me up too much about that. And that's the fifth ball. And we're going to go ahead and place it in, place it in the skillet, Okay. I'm hoping you guys, I'm going to bring you closer so that you can see it and see um, it cooking, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and place it first. I always start off where in the corners. You hear it? And we have it on three. I always start off in my corners. Yeah, so I was able to get four in here. And this is my medium skillet. Um... So it's not my large one, but I was able to get four in there. Let me bring you guys closer so you can see it. Okay, guys. So as you can see it closer, it's looking pretty good and it's cooking. I'm taking my time. Being that I have um, did this in the almond flour and the French onion, you don't want the, the grease to brown, you know, really quickly. So just take your time. I have it on three. Um, so just take your time while it's cooking. We'll go ahead and make our other ball. Okay, so we got that one, and I do have room for one more. I feel like you guys are leaning. Are y'all leaning? Now, um, go ahead and turn this in the egg. Now, with Simon Croquette, you guys have to be careful and go ahead and flip it. Um, so that it won't be burnt looking. I don't like burnt looking food. So, we're going to go ahead and flip this over. And I'm going to even lower the temperature a little bit. And it, it's going to kind of remind you of, like, if you like um, a vegetarian burger or something, it's going to look very similar to something like that, okay? But you want it to kind of brown. You want that crisp. But you don't want it where it's burnt looking. So I would definitely say probably, if you have a gas stove like me, go ahead and cut it down from three to two. Um, so that it can go ahead and cook properly. Okay. And voila. That's your other um, ball. And we're going to go ahead and repeat the same cycle. And it's looking good. I don't know if I have a taste for a wrap. Um, and the good thing about being on keto, guys, like I'm not even really hungry like that. But I know I need to get some kind of protein or something in my body. You know what I mean? Because I hadn't had anything to eat and it's almost 3 p.m. So I'm doing very good on my intermittent fasting. Um, I want to tell you guys that God is so awesome. He's so good. And although this is keto and some people looking at it like it's just a diet, I'm looking at it definitely like it's a journey. I believe God is on this journey with me um, because great things are happening in the midst of this journey. Um, I want to also encourage you guys to follow my wife's channel. She talked about the law of attraction. Her name is Remy Rocket, and that's spelled R-E-M-I Rocket. And rocket like a blast off rocket. She talks about the law of attraction and she gets so much great feedback from that. So definitely follow her channel um, as well as spread the word on hers and mine and support us. And we would love to support you guys in return, okay? Um, law of attraction is for real, for real. So definitely, you know, consider looking at her, um, her channel if you don't know how to operate, you know, that people say, oh, the third eye is the money. It's not. It's simply just saying your imagination to, to open up your mind to something different. You know what I mean? To open up your mind to something bigger than where you currently are. So, it's not. Stop being so deep. Don't be so deep. All right. So, 
Um, normally I be it seems like I be rushing, but I'm taking my time and, and you guys are enjoying a little of this with me. I'm gonna put a little more olive oil in there. So that it can cook. Looking good. Okay. And as my food is cooking, I always start cleaning up. <laughs> I do. I always start cleaning my, my mess up. Because I don't like a lot of mess and stuff to be out. My little two-year-old say, uh, clean up your mess. Clean up your mess. <laughs> so, um, I normally like to kind of clean up my mess. Um, so that I can fix everything up and have a clear counter for you guys. I'm just so excited. This is going to be a great year for all of us. I believe when you want it, you know what I mean? God has opened up the door for you to get it. Sometimes you might have to leave where you are, go to different avenues, but what God got for you is for you personally. It has your name on it, you know what I mean? So don't be, you know, feeling no kind of way or whatever. So I guess you can look at this like a devotional, a devotional Thursday, you know, with cooking involved, you know, because I want to just encourage somebody today. Somebody needs to know that God ain't forgot about you. You can flip it again. Perfect. And again, I'm cooking this low. So this is like on two or something like that because I don't want to cook too, too, too fast. Okay. And this is your summer croquette. Now you can add your, um, you can add anything extra that you want to do, but I'm not doing it today. Cleaning up as I go along. This is one of my best friends, um, and it is the, is it backwards? Parchment paper. It has been very beneficial to me doing this process, okay? Especially when I'm baking and stuff like that and washing my hands. So I just stretch my head, that's nasty. Um, but it has really been beneficial to me. So it, it holds your grease. It's really good for, you know, baking and stuff like that, so... Keep that in mind. I bought that with Publix. I think I spent two dollars or something on it too. So the summer croquette is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here, and we'll go ahead to our next. Now, normally I tell you guys when you don't um, cook things too long or too hard, you can keep the grease. But with my summer croquette, I never keep my grease. I always change it out every single time. Okay, every single time I'm gonna change it out. So we'll go ahead and change it out as of now. And put it in like um always, especially my grease or whatever. Oh, I have a, I'm gonna just gonna put it in this like smaller grease container I got and go ahead and wash it out and repeat the same cycle for the other three. It has a lot of protein in there, um, a lot of amino acid um that is in there, and we need those things, you know, for our bodies. This is a good dish to have on um, keto. Simon is one of the recommended, um, I guess you could say fish or, you know, on, on keto because it has so much high fats, okay? So I definitely recommend it. And we'll start the same thing all over. I just wash my pan out. Go ahead and turn it on like a three. Put you some olive oil in there. That's it, like a little circle of olive oil. And when you're buying olive oil, make sure you are buying extra virgin olive oil. Um, it works good. Now, I did buy the MTC, but I do a lot of, like, my chickens and stuff with my MTC oil. And, yeah, I put parsley on everything because, you know, I like presentation. You know me. Y'all should know me by now. I mean, I've been recording every day for you guys. I fell off a couple of days, but... I do my best to keep that recording going for you guys. It look, it's looking really good. Um, I have been making some delicious uh, snacks at night because I haven't been hungry. I just kind of want something on my stomach. And um, I want you guys to definitely go back and look at other, ch um, other videos so that you can see what I've been making, especially like little party stuff. You know how we like the little drumlets and stuff at night? Well, I've been making... Um, like some little pieces, I guess you call it little pieces sticks or something like that. And so it's been like really, really, really nice. It's 
listening really, 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 really nice. But God is amazing. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. I'm going to put these seasonings up. And again, you can keep this as a wrap. You can do it as a salad. It's whatever you decide to do. Okay. Now, I'm at home. So, this, you know, can be much better than how I'm making it. But... I'm just at home and I'm cooking something to eat because I hadn't had anything to eat all day. And I'm talking to you guys and spending time with you guys. And I'm going to do better with that because I want to spend a lot of time with you so that y'all can know who I am. And I can know who you are. I can know what you like, what you're looking for. And you guys can know the same thing about me. I have a little mixed garlic left, so I'm going to refrigerate that. And yeah. Now, oh, okay, let's make our special sauce. So, the kids really complimented me a whole lot on my sauce that I made uh, the other day. So, I think this will taste really good with that. So, we had that, we had this, we had some olive oil, a little lemon. Mm we're going to do a tinge of mustard. It's not a lot. It's a tinge of it. It's harder sauce. There we go. And we're going to make us some nice sauce. I'm flipping um, this because I don't want it to be too brown. And again, you don't have to cook it, you know, really hard. There's no need to rush it. It, it doesn't pop like fried chicken or anything like that. Um, I just put up this and I got to take away right this. But it's all good. So anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna wash this one bowl out. My kids, I made some um some tacos, some fish tacos for them the other day, and boy did they like it. Yes, they did. They really did like it. So um and I make this sauce that you guys are about to see back now, and they really fell in love with it. So I'm going to go ahead and make that again. I think this will taste, this sauce will be really good. It's kind of like a, uh, I'm going to say better brand. Sorry, Mickey D's, not trying to be ugly, but it's it's very similar to what they make for Big Macs, okay? Very similar. So I'm back. I want to kind of um, get the camera and stuff looking pretty good. Now, all I did was, remember I told you, if you watched this um this on the other day you use like a tablespoon of each but it's whatever your preference is um whatever you like okay so i'm going to start off with my mayo that's one tablespoon there's another tablespoon this is tartar sauce um tartar sauce already is pre-made so i'm gonna probably open it up as my kids prepare to be eating it and let's um summer croquette is looking pretty good perfect we got this out the way and let's move that over um i'm gonna only do a little mustard be careful with your mustards because your mustard can like overpower something so maybe i'm gonna say like two little drops of it um shake up your ketchup ketchup will have oil coming to the top and I do a little swirl on it. It's, it's whatever you like. I like a little more. And a little olive oil. Boom. Maybe like a one tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to probably do um, two things of sweet radish. Okay. And you just stir it up like that. You can stir it up some more if you got somebody assisting you, but do not forget about your summer croquette because you want it to be pretty, okay? Yeah. And just keep stirring. Now, if you want to put a little um, stevia or trivia or some other kind of sweetener in there, you can. Good. I'm probably going to add one more thing of mayo because I probably need a little more of this sauce. 
and it looks so good. And I have some stevia um, in here. I'm, I got to go to the grocery store because we're looking a little scarce around here. And here's my little stevia, and I'm only going to do one squirt. One. Perfect. Because I don't want too much, okay? And my kids don't know, but I've been slowly transitioning them to a keto way. And they didn't like it, but they had noticed. If I say that, guys, y'all eat like diet food, they probably freak out. But I won't say nothing, 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 nothing. You can squeeze a little lemon in here. Lemon is always good. Give a kind of um, tangy taste to it a little bit. And I'm going to take that one little seed out. Oh, sorry, it's two seeds. And then we just, you know, stir it around. Now, some people are like, did you go to school for this? No. Like, how did you learn how to cook? I just learned. Um, coming up, I was raised by my great-grandmother. And so, I mean, she taught me a lot, a lot, lot. And so... I was able to, you know, I wasn't the one, I'm going to put this in the uh, freezer so I can get kind of cold, but I wasn't the one to be like outside playing and stuff a lot. I mean, I was the one that wanted to know how she did the things that she did, you know. Um, I wanted to know about the stories. My great-grandmother was born in 1906. So that's a long, long, long time ago. She was born in 1906, and when I was younger... She used to tell me, you know, um, slave stories and how her mom was actually raped by the slave master. And I know you guys, like, you are so young. How did you have to? My grandmother was born in 1906, so she would have been over, what, 100 or something now. So she, I love my grandmother. I was so crazy about it. She was my great-grandmother, but I was very close to her. I was very, very, very close to her. And she used to tell me so many stories. And I used to see her making the homemade biscuits. And I saw her doing special recipes and stuff like that. So once I get my restaurant, I'll be implementing a lot of things that I learned as a child from my great-grandmother. And I'm excited about that. I really am. Um, because... What the things that she had taught me and stuff like that, man, helped me to be the person I am today. And um, I'm grateful, forever grateful. Hi, honey. So, this is for the most part almost done here. We'll let it get a little more brown from there. The wife just walked in, guys. They can't really see you, babe, but you can just say hi. Hi, people. Hi. So, guys, I will show you once I get done with everything, and you guys will see the outcome. I decided to go ahead and do the tortilla. I'm taking out one tomato and some lettuce um, that I'm going to have on there. And, yeah, and we're going to put the special sauce on there. Now, I do love cheese. I absolutely love cheese. So, I don't have any more shredded cheese, but you know me, I improvise with what I have, right? So, I'm going to use some Kobe Jack cheese that I have. I have some Kobe Jack cheese, okay? And I'm going to put uh, put it on the Simon Croquette and put it in the microwave. Uh, you definitely can air fry this if you want to. It's your choice, but, you know, however you want to do it. But it looks so, so, so good. And I just want to show you guys how it looks. I want to do this one. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put some Kobe Jack cheese on it. You know, I told you, I use whatever it is that I have. If I have it, I use it. And that's what it is. Even with this tripod, it's not perfect right now, but the other one will be here Friday. Whoop, whoop. So, um, I'll be able to start using one that's better for now. And until then, I still want you guys to have a better live logistics of how I get down in the kitchen. Okay? So...
that's what we're doing here and you can kind of cut it in half or whatever uh, as far as your cheese and I'm simply gonna put it in the microwave my one I messed that one up so you guys this channel is gonna be you guys are gonna be active in my life <laughs> you don't know what's going on in my life and how I operate or whatever you guys are going to be on this journey with me. My stomach is going in. I feel so good about that. God is so, 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 so good. Um, it is going in. It might not be flat to some people, but to me, it's flatter than what it was. And so, I'm excited about it. Um, i get my little knife out. I'm not a, um, I'm a picky cutter. I'm a picky eater. I'm I'm really picky when it comes to my food. For real. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, don't play with my food. I get so mad. So, here is the tomato. I always cut the end off. They got the little seed part. I'm going to and cut that off. This is looking good and melted. And you guys look like a part of this whole process. How cool is that? So, um... Go ahead and cut this the seed part off of the tomato. Now I normally cut mine very uh fine. I don't really like really big tomatoes unless I'm making like um some green tomatoes. <coughs> but this is really um thin and fine, okay? And I'm gonna cut this and then I'm gonna go ahead and, and get a little of my lettuce together. Look how much tomatoes I'm getting because I am cutting so thin, you know. So you're probably going to need like a small knife um, to get everything, you know, together. Okay. Perfect. So I use all I could. And I'm going to throw that in the garbage. Put my cheese up. Clean up as you guys go. And it, it won't be such a big, you know, clean up. And then my lettuce. Okay. Now, you can just cut, get your lettuce head. If you guys have spinach left, you know, from the other day, you can use some spinach. I always check my lettuce and see, you know, how it looks and stuff like this. And this was pre-washed anyway by me. Um, so, but I still go back and check it just to make sure. And we look perfect and we look good. I do have some spinach. Um, if you guys want to add some spinach to it. I love spinach, um, but it's, I'm talking about the organic spinach, like that goes in salad. I have a few left. Not a whole lot, but a few. Green, green, green. You need a lot of green on uh, uh, keto, okay? A lot of green, nothing wrong with green. Now, mind you, um, my tortillas, you have to get the one that's low carb. Now, I did see something the other day from somebody else's video on YouTube, they have Mission um, low carb uh, low carb tortillas, but theirs is six grams um, of carbs, and with this one, it's Al by Rita, and it is only five grams of carbs. So it's still whatever your preference is. I'm gonna warm this just a little bit because me and my wife don't like really cold tortillas, and put that in there for about. Five seconds or so, and then do the next one, and we're ready to go ahead and lock and load. Hi, babe. You need me? She needs me, guys. Okay, this is looking good. Okay, okay, okay. So I put that in there, and I'm gonna put this one in there as well. And you don't have to do it for long, okay? Your special sauce should be good and cooled. So you can go ahead and get your special sauce out the freezer. So I got this on. Perfect. I don't want, want it to get too hot. Now, it's no uh, no preferences, however you just uh, decide to lay your stuff. I always lay my lettuce first. And then once I lay my lettuce, uh uh Lay my lettuce, then I begin to lay everything else, okay? So here's my lettuce that's here. 
And then put you some little spinach on there. And then your tomatoes. Now, if you want to, I'm doing like two tomatoes. But if you want to just do one, you do, just do one. It's up to you. You can just do one. And I'm laying the lettuce. And I'm going to go ahead and put the spinach. And, you know, I told you how good spinach is for you. Um, it has a lot of vitamin A, C, and D in there. So, that's fine. We got that. That's special sauce. And we're going to put it on the opposite side of it, okay? So, just go ahead and rub that special sauce. All right. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. And you're going to do the same for the other side. And just get your assignment croquette. Now, I'm going to cut this in half like that. Because it's so short. And we're going to do it this way and this way. And then I'm simply going to do it just like this. Now, some people like um, chips and stuff like that. So, what can you do as a substitute? You can have tortillas and you can bake them and season them. Some people are using, um, doing pork rinds. You can do that as well if you decide to. But again, if you are, you know, kind of going through something with blood pressure and stuff, I definitely don't recommend it every day. Kind of make that like a special treat here and there. Um, but you can do that. You can do a jello. We're going to have a jello with this. So that's that. And then we're going to do the same thing. Put that special sauce on the other side of this. And that other, the special sauce, I mean, if you guys love like a Big Mac, it tastes similar to that. Mine, of course, is better. Ha! You think I'm going to say theirs is better than mine? Absolutely not. Get you a little toothpick. And what I tell y'all about presentation. Boom! Voila! Magic! There you go. So here is your Simon Croquette Wrap. And we're going to have some jello. I'm going to show you this one last thing. thing. And then we're going to say deuces. So this is the jello that we're going to have. And it is a what? Sugar-free jello. Okay. And I'm simply going to open this up. Put it in there. Voila. Get us a gold spoon. Put it in there. And there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in to Live Ratchet Kitchen and me. I love you. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Let me get this thing together. I love you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in to Ratchet Kitchen and me. And until next time, I'll see you later. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces!